going to touch on the role of nurse midwives in the provision of newborn care in terms of our scope of practice. I'm also going to review the 2020 ACNM competencies, which outlines the role CNMs have in caring for newborns. Even if you're a midwife within a hospital and you may generally transfer care of the newborn after you cut the cord, you'll still provide care and education regarding lactation. You might also see postpartum families in clinic through those first 28 days, and you'll need to be familiar with the normal growth and developmental characteristics of the newborn. As you'll come to know, there are several abnormalities that present after discharge home from the hospital, and you'll need to have sufficient knowledge to identify these and offer guidance for the family, even if that includes knowing when to refer them to their pediatrician. For those of you working in out-of-hospital or community care settings, such as freestanding birth centers or home birth, it's essential that you know this content specifically and in detail, as you'll likely be providing newborn care during that first month. Let's touch on a few things about scope of practice. Listed within the ACNM core competencies are all things that you should be able to safely provide as a new graduate nurse midwife. You'll build on this knowledge base just as you will your interpartum and clinic skills, for example, in your CNM practice in the future. Independently managed care of the well neonate, so the newborn up to 28 days of life, includes understanding the effects of prenatal and fetal history and risk factors, preparing and planning for birth, facilitating physiologic transition to extrauterine life, and by that I mean the respiratory transition, cardiac stabilization, thermoregulation, feeding and maintaining normal glycemia of the newborn, bonding and attachment, identifying any deviations from normal and managing those, and then emergency management of the neonate, resuscitation, stabilization, consultation, and or referral as needed. So core competencies continued then, neonatal assessment. You'll need to know how to physically and behaviorally assess a newborn, both term and preterm, do a gestational age assessment, ongoing assessment and management up to 28 days, and identify deviations from normal, manage, consult, and refer. And then developing a plan of care with the parents or caregivers up to that first month of life. So how to teach normal behavior and development to promote fetal or neonatal attachment. Feeding, weight gain, common lactation, and or feeding problems, whether that's bottle or nursing. Normal daily care, newborn interactions, and activity. Preventative care, so again, based on local and national guidelines, therapeutics, testing, and screening for newborns. And the need for ongoing preventative visits with a pediatric provider, so education with parents. What does that look like? Safe integration of the neonate into family and cultural units, interventions and referrals for abnormal conditions, and those that we'll discuss in this course and on your AMCB board exams include congenital malformations, what happens with a poor transition to extra uterine life, symptoms of infection, infants born to mothers with infections, the effects of postpartum depression on neonates, stillbirth, palliative care for conditions incompatible with life and psychosocial needs of grieving families, and health education specific to the needs of the neonate and family. Take a look again at the ACNM core competencies with any questions, and I look forward to working in this class with you regarding um, nurse midwifery care of newborns. <music>